Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to 91 Days episode 8. So I saw that there was this episode 7.5 and I wasn't really sure what it actually was. So when I looked it up, it seemed like it was just a recap episode. So, so I was like, I'm just gonna skip it and just continue with episode 8 because why do they even need a recap episode for a 12 episode show? Uh, it felt a little bit pointless, but at the same time, I kind of understand because there's a lot happening in each episode. And like I said, there's just so much going on. So it's sometimes hard to keep up and maybe this kind of recap episode might be actually useful. But I was like, there's no point in reacting to a recap episode. So maybe I'll just rewatch it later. But for now, I'm just going to react to episode 8 and further so yeah like things are still really intense and really starting to feel bad for Nero because he's like losing all of his people that are dear to him and in the previous episode we saw how this whole like like fight between him and Frato um, unfolded and how it ended as well and Angelo is kind of like the one who is like speeding up things and at the same time he's also taking advantage of it and uses it to get closer to Nero and in the previous episode he even like proposed like I'll become your new brother and what he actually meant by that is still a little bit unclear to me but We'll probably see more about that in this episode. So I'm really excited to see how things are going to continue between those two. So without further ado, let's right into the episode. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So we're going to start the episode in three, two, one, go. Corteo. Oh yeah, he's thinking back of their own promise from like when they were little. Oh, that must that must have been really hurtful. Yeah, remember that promise they made when they were little? It was a promise they made after Angelo's family got killed. The yeah, now that Corteo hears like the same words uh, from Angelo towards Nero, even though he knows that Nero is Angelo's target, it it makes him think probably like, what does being a brother mean to Angelo then? You know what I mean? If he like talks about it so lightly, yeah, that must have been really painful for Corteo. I even forgot about the promise. Maybe I should have watched that recap episode before this one. But anyways, I'm, yeah. Behind the curtain. All right. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, now it's actually called the Fungo family. <laughs> I still cannot get used to Fungo's new hairstyle. Mm. 
Wait, they haven't talked about the Galashas though. Are they unimportant now? I know that Ronaldo got killed in the previous episode, but was he the boss? He wasn't the boss, right, of the Galashas family. Okay, so that's kind of like the end of their cooperation then. Angelo. Oh, he knows about Angelo. <laughs> Stealing his coffee. <laughs> How much sugar is he gonna put in his coffee? And then putting it back? Ooh, he's threatening with his daughter. What is what did Angelo try to do with this? See, I think Corteo's feeling like he's kind of being left behind, I think. <laughs> I enjoyed it though and it eventually was useful as well oh it's it's weird how they can laugh about it Yeah. 
what? What is Corteo gonna do? down What? Exactly, that's so cool of Angelo. Uh oh. <sighs> okay. <gasps> yeah, I'm sure it's not gonna end well for them. Uh oh. Oh, okay, no, it happened sooner than I thought it would go. Oh. Huh? Oh, I thought they were inside the car. Or was this just a warning? This might have been just a warning. Okay, so you stopped the investigation. Who's this? Uh. 
O. A poor guy. Was that was he just a distraction or something? Ooh. Yep. It must be Corteo. Yes, yeah, see? Uh. Oh, I feel so bad for Corteo. Right, Nero cannot trust anyone. Except for Angelo, for some reason. Oh, no, you're giving yourself away. Um. Yeah, like that would drive me insane as well. If you see all these people like following you and keeping an eye on you. Who's this? Who's this guy? Mr. Scusa. Have we seen him before?
I feel like I've heard that name before though, but I don't remember when. I think you already had enough. Uh... Meaning he's going to kill Corteo? No, 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 no. Is this how it's gonna end for Oh No, okay, he's not gonna kill him. Thank God. I can watch this. Behind the curtains. I'm spe I'm speechless. Well, that's the end of the Fungo family as well.
Oh, right, so that was episode 8 of 91 days. They are definitely slowing down, I must say. This, this show, like, it's so unpredictable. Who knew that Corteo would be the one to kill Fungo? That's insane. Yeah, so this episode was completely Corteo-focused. It was all related to the, uh, that whole investigation of um, the Vanetti family, the alcohol brewery like how they made the lawless heaven it was all kind of related to each other and it also led to corteo teaming up with fango in the first place but i don't know like i just felt really bad for corteo this was really hard this episode was really hard to watch because corteo he's like the the person like he said himself that just got dragged into this mess you know being angelo's friend he he was the one who had Angelo's back, you know. He was always there to support Angelo, even if it meant sacrificing his own future. Because Corteo could have also chosen to abandon Angelo and start his own proper life. But instead he chose to stay with Angelo, which, yeah, it's just a choice he made. And now you can see what how that choice affected him in the end and it's just crazy he's just lost everything and i think like the the lawless heaven was the only thing he had finally left because he's also kind of losing his ties with angelo and it seems really cold from angelo like how he deals with corteo and just says like just stay out of my life but how i see it is that that is kind of Angelo's way of telling Corteo to, you know, follow his own life. There's no need for him to, like, in involve himself with Angelo anymore. Like, he can also, Jake, cut off the ties and, like, follow his own path now that that is still possible. But now that he killed Fango, that's definitely too late now. And I think that was kind of like the final step for Corteo to fall as well and he was already part of the mafia so like he was already really involved with the dark side of society you could say but now that he's also done those deeds himself it really led to the downfall of yeah himself so i really feel bad for corteo he has lost everything like the only two things he had left was angelo and his liquor lawless heaven and in one episode, he has lost both, you know, like his ties with Angelo. I don't, I don't think Angelo feels nothing towards Corteo anymore. I think he still regards Corteo as his friend or even a brother, like at like with the promise they made when they were still little. You know, also the way he was looking through the window to Corteo. I'm sure he was also like worried. To a certain extent. I don't like he didn't interfere or anything, but I don't believe that Angelo doesn't feel anything for Corteo anymore. I think he still considers Corteo as his friend. Because Angelo's focus is having his revenge on the Bonetti family, doesn't mean that he's like cold hearted towards anyone else. Even though he has already killed off his emotions to a certain extent. There's still a bit of humanity left in himself which we kind of saw like a couple of episodes ago when we saw him together with Nero and where he was trying to juggle and where we used, and where we could see kind of Angelo let loose you know of his front so I feel like there's still a bit of that humanity left in Angelo just a little bit but I think that's also kind of like the 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 feelings he has left for Corteo but I don't know I'm still really worried about Corteo I don't think it's gonna end up really well for him in this show I mean this whole show is super dark so anyone's life can end any minute you know like it's just so unpredictable like I never imagined Fungo to get killed by Corteo's hands in this episode. That's just the last thing I expected to happen. But that's just another 
person out of the way, even actually even a whole family out of the way. The only thing I was wondering though, because they didn't really mention the Galasha family, so I don't know if they still play a role in this whole show. Because we've seen how Ronaldo got taken out in the previous episode, but I thought he wasn't like the the head of the family. There's still someone above him, right? So I was a bit confused of why they didn't really mention them. But in any case, now that the Fango family is gone, there's still one enemy less for the Vanetti family because they kind of had this, you know, war going on between them. But now that Fango is gone, who knows what's gonna happen to that whole family. And so for Nero, it, this is only good news. <laughs> I don't know how things are gonna continue. It can just go in any direction. And that's why I really enjoy this show. It just keeps me on the edge of my seat the whole time. But yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next episode, you can always check out my Patreon or subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always watch it a little bit later. But thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.